today I'm going to start working on the windshield frame. This is the one I got from the Jeep salvage yard. It's very solid, it just has some very minor surface rust on it, but no rot. I saw the Jeep this came off of and the Jeep was uh, mostly picked apart, but definitely it was a California Jeep. So there's no rust around this area down here. I'm going to take this off. Go ahead and sand it down, clean it up, put some primer on it, and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Well, I've got the windshield frame all sanded down, and it's actually primed on the other side. I was going to peel these black rubber moldings up and rope them. It's called rope them. Stick a piece of rope under there so that they sit away from the surface so I can get paint under there. But unfortunately, they're just way too brittle. And that was the whole purpose. I didn't want to have to put a windshield into this. Or else I would have just bought a new aftermarket frame. So I just taped up to it. It's actually, this is very clean. Uh, this is all smooth. I'm going to spray some primer on it. And depending upon how it turns out, I may get some high build primer, sandable. And uh, maybe work these areas a little bit. But... This, this feels completely smooth at this point, so I'll probably just go with it. I'm just going to throw a, a coat of satin primer on it right now until I can get uh, some more gloss black. i got to run to the store. I don't know if I'll do that today or not. But at this point, it's coming out pretty clean. I'm going to go ahead and spray some primer, and I'll bring you back. Well, I've got it all primed. And unfortunately, I'm out of primer, and I am going to have to get some high build primer at the store. I hit these areas where the paint was all wrinkled. I'll hit those, I'll sand them, this thing will be good. I'm not going for perfection here. Hence, that's why I'm painting with a rattle can, but because the Jeep is just solid black, no metallic. And this surface area is really not that large in comparison, I can definitely get away with it. I noticed there's also a little small dent right there, but I doubt I'm even going to do anything with that. Um, I'll think about it. Maybe put some filler on it, but at this point, probably not going to worry about it. So that's going to be pretty much it for this right now until I'm able to get some more paint supplies. So, not sure what I'll work on next. Stay tuned. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you is I fixed both of these interior door panels. The retainers had pulled out of the, the back of this, uh, I don't know, fiber, whatever you call it, this pressed material, and uh, the door panels weren't staying on. So I just went and got some stainless steel screws and fasteners, attached it all the way around, and it's the same with that door over there. Um, I'm probably just going to leave them the stainless because it kind of matches the trim. I was going to paint them black, but I don't think I'll worry about it. But for right now, this door panel is on nice and solid. There's nothing wrong with the door panel itself. It just it wasn't uh, really staying on there on the on the the door frame as well as it should have. So I'm very happy with that. Still need to change my lock cylinders one of these days. I think I'm actually going to paint this thing. I know these things are cheap. There's nothing wrong with this at all. But just put some satin black on it. I think it'll be good enough. I don't think it's worth spending eight bucks a side. You know, I got plenty of other things to do on this. So, yep, at least that's one thing that's accomplished. I also wanted to add that I was able to get a key made. This is the one and only Jeep key that I had, and this thing, as you can see, is worn completely smooth. But I was able to get a key, and it fits all the locks, so I don't have to change any of the cylinders. That's great news. I went and got some high build primer, and that didn't seem to be enough. So I got out the spot putty, and I'm just going over the areas where it wasn't really you know looking all that great this side seemed to be a lot worse so I put the spot putty on there 
I'm going to wait for this whole thing to dry, then I'll sand it smooth, probably put one more coat of primer on it, let that dry, and then I'll do the final top coat of gloss black. But overall, it's coming along. I didn't even expect to get to this today, but uh, I figured I'll get as much done today as I can, let it dry, and then it'll be ready when I'm ready to start working on the windshield itself. So that's probably going to be it for today. We'll catch you on the flip side.